Okay, uh, this is a sound card. How do you know that this is a sound card? So that's the red, white, blue, yes. green stuff. Yes. See? Daniel knows. See the red dot? Usually this on a microphone, there's a red cord that you, or a red end of the cord that you plug in. And then you have your headphones that you plug in as well. Do uh, you guys are familiar with 2.1, 5.1, and 7.1 sound systems for computers? <laughs> no? You guys should because you guys are into like music, right? And tunes and stuff. Like, who has their own car? Own car? Yeah, some of you guys seniors. Oh, because in Thailand, some of my students had their own car. Like, they had like these, the minis. Oh yeah. Yeah, and they had these cars, but and they have these nice sound systems. Um, but anyway, on your computer. What do you think 2.1 sound system means? Bad one. That means basically two uh, speakers. 2.1, two speakers. 5.1 is what? Five About five with a sub. And then 7.1 is even more with a surround sound. So most lab, well, pretty much all laptops, they only have what? 2.1. Because it's just a, you put in this the thing and then that's two. But if you see more than one hole, that usually means it's like 5.1 or 7.1. Okay? Um, okay, what is this? Speaker. Hard drive. <laughs> okay, now, uh, some of you guys know about, do you guys remember back in the day, they used to have uh, record players? And the record player would spin. When I was a little kid, I'd take my little army guys and put them on the record player. They'd spin around and I'd flick them off. But uh, for a hard drive, it works very similar. You have this disc that spins and you see this little needle. Okay, Just like a record player has a needle, this needle writes the data or the information on the hard drive. So when you go to file, save as, and hit save, it's actually you're telling send the instructions to this little needle to go write the data onto a part of this disk. Now, have you guys heard of uh, defragment your hard drive? Yeah. So basically what that means is you should defragment your hard drive about once a month. Uh, not too often because it'll wear out the needle, but about once a month. What that does is basically com um, organizes your files because uh, like when you write, let me get this for a minute. Uh, pointer options, pen. For example, let's say you write it and it writes it like right here. And then it writes a part right here. And then it writes some more here and here. So when you defragment your hard drive, basically it's gonna compress all these files into one like larger section. So it's more like in a compartment. It's more organized, okay? So just like in your room, you put all your pants inside your pants drawer and your shirts and your shirt drawer. That's what this does. It doesn't do this at first because it's trying to find the fastest way to save. What is this? Chip. Uh, there's a chip on it, but it's actually a network card. What you should look at is this right here. You know, most of you guys have internet through your internet service provider, you plug in that cord in here. Some people use a cable modem to connect to the internet and they use this coaxial cable. So that's a network cable or a network card. What is this? USB. Oh, that's a power cord. No. Now notice the, it's similar to the network card except this hole is actually smaller. So what would that be? Yes. No, no. Modem. So some people uh, are still like use 56k, like the dial up. So they take their phone line, plug it into their computer, and then they, they get really slow internet. But you need this modem card. Most laptops and computers don't have them, but you need a special card for it if you use it. What is this? Motherboard. Yes, motherboard. Okay, motherboard is basically a board. That has a lot of circuits, a lot of, um, there's the memory, it holds the processor, 
I have graphics. I mean, there's a lot, a ba little battery. It holds a lot of things. So it just takes care of it. So that's the motherboard. What is this? Power supply. Power supply. And this is the most important part of your computer. Because without this, you cannot have a computer. You cannot turn on a computer. So that's why you need to make sure that the um, when you have a computer that the environment is, isn't too hot and humid because if your power supply gets too hot, it'll blow. I've seen computers blow up, like literally, with smoke and everything, and it's not a very safety thing. So make sure it doesn't get too hot. Make sure the fan works properly so it can keep it cool. So your power supply is the most important part. What is this? CD roll. Yes, yeah, CD, DVD, drive. And this is the back of the computer, yes. Um, the, yes, you need to know these. But, but guys, you already learned it because this is the motherboard right here. Like that is the motherboard. It's just sticking out. And this is the sound card I just showed you on the first slide. It's just sticking out. And this is your network card. Yeah, or, and it's just sticking out. See, I already showed you those. It's just the back view. Um, what I didn't show you guys, well, I showed you, but this is the motherboard, a side angle of it. And then you need to know the different par the major parts on the motherboard. Um, these are the different ports, but I'll save the ports for another day because I know you guys have a low attention span and you're reaching that peak about right now. So let's all be happy and save that for another day. Good job.